Hi there, I'm Steve Fisher, and this is Roland's brand new V Tour Series TD15 KV. It's actually one of six models that we just introduced this year that have this supernatural sound engine built right into it. And it gives you great expression and dynamic range. So we have actually have six models with three modules that have the supernatural sound engine. Well, this is the TD15 KV, as I mentioned, and it's filled full of a lot of great professional components and packed with a lot of great features and unique features as well to provide you with a lot of great applications to use the drum set for. If you're going to use it for live playing, you can use it for recording. Uh, you can also use it for education purposes as well. You can also use it for just practicing. That's a great application for these V drums. And now that, if you just want to sit down and have fun playing the drum set, you can do that too. Let's take a closer look at some of the components that we have here on the TD15KV. Starting off with our mesh V pads. Now these are really special pads. It's our patented multi-layer mesh technology that's incorporated here. And our top pads are my two rock tom pads, our PD85s, and they're actually dual trigger pads, so I have two sounds on each pad. For my snare and my floor tom, I have our 10-inch PDX100 pads. Those, again, are also dual trigger. Now, I'll mention about our mesh V-pads that we have at Roland. One of the things they provide us with is a great feel. One of the things you can do, for example, is actually use a standard drum key to be able to tension the drums. Because what you want to be able to do is I can have them tensioned so my snare drum is tighter and gradually getting looser as I go to my floor tom. That gives me a great feel, very similar to that of my acoustic drum set. Now, of course, tensioning the pads has no bearing on the sound at all, like it does on an acoustic set. Here, it's just really a matter of feel. So you just take your standard drum key, and tighten the mesh heads how you like to. Now, the other thing about the mesh heads is they provide a great natural feel. And the way they do that is, I guess here's a good analogy, is if you've ever bounced on a trampoline before. You know what it's like when you bounce in the middle of the trampoline? And then, you know, you get a different bounce as you actually go towards the edge of the trampoline. It's the same thing on acoustic drums and the same thing here with our mesh heads because as I play towards the edge of the pad, I actually get a different feel from it. Now, surfaces like... For example, like uh, silicone rubber and things like that, they're a consistent feel and they actually don't provide any difference where you play. So you can play anywhere and it's the same feel. But it's not that way on the mesh pads. Actually, depending on where you play on the pad, you do get a very natural feel. Now for the cymbals, we actually have our V cymbals and they're dedicated V cymbals in that regard. For example, we have our CY13R, it's our ride cymbal, and it's three-way triggering. So I get the bell, the bow, and the edge sound as well. So I can play the bell, play the bow, and play the edge. And of course, you can choke the pads too. My crash cymbal is a dedicated crash. It's a CY12C crash cymbal. It's with a natural swing motion. So I play at the crash, I play all the way through it. It feels great. And again, just like the, the ride cymbal, I can choke it. For the hi-hat, the VH11, it's great. It's a one-piece hi-hat design with an actuator on the bottom. What it provides me is nice, smooth, close to open uh, hi-hat sounds as well as things like the, the pedal splash, the foot splash sound um, included well, as well. The other thing with it, it's using a, a standard acoustic hi-hat stand, so you get a great acoustic hi-hat feel as well with that. Moving on, we actually have downstairs here, we've got our KD9, our kick trigger, and it's got a cloth-type design that gives me a great acoustic feel as well. Now, the pad size is large enough to accommodate a double kick like I've got here. But the other thing, too, that it has is it's very even and accurate triggering across the whole surface. So I can use a double kick trigger. Just like that. Now, of course, keeping all those components in place and having them fit exactly where I want them to be is utilizing our MDS-9 V stand. Not only is it sturdy because it's got a four-post design to it, but we also have special things like ball clamps that so I can adjust and arrange the components in a very comfortable location wherever I want to place them. Now, of course, the TD-15, that's the star of the show here. It's our uh, TD-15 uh, Supernatural Sound Module. It is powered by our brand new Supernatural Sound Engine that we have in here. It's got 500 sounds, 100 drum kits, and lots of great features I'm going to be showing you. Now, you take something like that, and you combine it with the professional components that we have, our V-drum components, and you've got a complete natural drumming experience. It's really awesome. Let's take a listen.
And you can see incredible dynamics, incredible expression too. The reason why it plays so great is because we have the supernatural sound engine inside. And here's what we have. When we've got three modules that include the supernatural sound engine, the TD-11, this TD-15, and also the TD-30. Now, what's great about these, as I mentioned, they provide incredible dynamics and expression. And how we achieve that, though, how supernatural actually kind of works, is really interesting. It's actually a module that you can interact with. So my playing input and all my expressiveness and how I approach the drums and my attitude is reflected directly from the sound module. It knows what I'm doing. It knows when I'm playing soft and it knows when I'm playing loud and hard and aggressive. It knows those things. You combine that drum reaction with how the module responds and not only that, but also the ambient section that are included in the modules too. Give us that polished sound. You have all those sonic elements that you'd find in studios and rooms and things like that to give you a very natural sound. You combine those all together and you have a complete and natural drumming experience for that. The couple other special things too on this drum set and all V-drum sets that we have in the line of V-drums, the dynamic range is unprecedented because you play from soft to the loudest rim shots, it picks all those up. And that's something you need to be aware of when you're playing because it, all the expression that you give into the drum set, you're gonna get back when you play the TD-15 KV. So we've got that on all our sounds, and that's really important. As well as the hi-hat. The hi-hat is a very complicated instrument. And what we have here with our VH series hi-hats is you've got very smooth, closed open sounds. You can see, again, it's very smooth, closed to open. Compared to other hi-hats that are out there, they're kind of stair-steppy and kind of clunky. This is very smooth and very natural. The other element that we have in our V-Drums modules with, with Supernatural Sound Engine is the triggering speed. That's really important. It's not really looked at very often, but it's a very important element in how the, the instrument responds to you. And with the Roland TD series modules, you get a very fast triggering speed. And that makes a big difference on how you feel the instrument. Especially if you're playing fast things like drum and bass. You can get really exhausted playing really fast tempos like drum and bass style if you're playing with a module that is, has a lot of latency or is very slow because it's very tiring. You're always trying to wait for the module to keep up with you. So the TD series with a Supernatural Sound Engine is very fast and very accurate in that regard. So let's listen to some more kits. even great percussion sounds in here too to play. Well, not only great sounds like that, but we have some sounds that utilize the effects section. Like I mentioned, there's a built-in ambient section. And you actually have 10 different rooms. And you also have 10 different multi-effects that you can do to make some really creative sounds. Not only that, but of course, you know, using the ambience, you get all those big rooms. For example, if I wanted to do things like a concert hall, I can do things like that. And a bunch of crazy sounds. Just take a listen.
This one's neat. It actually uses a gate sound on it. This is kind of an interesting kit. This is definitely one kit you don't want to do when you're doing a sound check for the sound man, because it's really got some crazy sounds in it. I tell you, drive the guy absolutely nuts doing something like that. But here's another fun one too. And of course, there's a host of other different sounds in here too. All the electronic sounds that you're looking for, if you're gonna do house. And of course, all the traditional drum sounds like electronic drums. Of course, the 808, and of course, the 909. So you've got all those great sounds there to be able to do. And again, that's using the effects in the, in the ambience too. That's, uh, those are great effects to add to your drum set to make more creative sounds. Now, let's go back to the TD-15 module, because it's really exciting. Let's dig in a little bit into this guy. It's really easy to use first and foremost. It has dedicated function buttons, so it's easy to get around on. The big LCD display, menu-driven, or icon-driven display. So it's quick and easy and intuitive. The, the dedicated buttons also are backlit. So one of the things you can do if it's a low-light situation and you're playing live, you can actually see the buttons, which is really helpful. The other thing you'll notice on the front of the module is an illumination dial. And it's actually pulsing, and you can even kind of see it pulse there. I can have it actually respond to, it's right there, kind of looks like Iron Man, right there, right in the module. One of the things you could do, though, is not only set it for dynamics, but in this case, I have it pulsing the tempo that I'm going to be playing. So if I'm going to play to a click, not only can I actually hear the click, but I can visually see the tempo as well. So that's a great feature to have. Now, you heard all those great sounds, and as you saw, I had different sounds placed on different pads, and you could put any sound on any pad. You saw I actually had a second hi-hat on the rim of sec the second tom. And again, because of the dual trigger pads, I can put lots of sounds all over the drum set. The other thing you can do, though, is within those 500 sounds, you have sound editing. And we do that very easily in the TD-15 because we've got a quick edit button. And it's right here. And I'm going to go to a drum kit and push the quick edit button. And right there, we're in edit mode. It's really easy. You don't have to dig through any menus, anything like that. For example, we have tuning. With my snare drum, we have four octaves of tuning. So you get the idea with, with, the, with the tuning on that. Let me go back here to my snare drum, get that back up. Things like, for example, I just push the quick edit button again, and right away, I'm actually at muffling. My floor tom, I want to muffle that up. So I can muffle the sounds. And here's a great one, too, is the snare buzz. That's part of the supernatural sound engine that we have in here, and part of the supernatural experience that we've got going is being able to control the snare buzz and the toms. So even the bass drum. And of course, the snare, we can just adjust the snare strainer itself. So you can tighten up and loosen that snare strainer. That's really cool because adding snare buzz, it's nice to have nice, clean, pristine sounds individually, but the thing is, this is one instrument, and what's great about having that snare buzz is you get that snare buzz, a little bit of bleed, that's very acoustic and very natural. That's, again, part of the supernatural sound engine. So when you play it, it actually plays like one instrument, and you're hearing it out there, it actually sounds like one instrument as well. So that's really important to be able to uh, use the quick edit buttons quickly to get to those great features and create your own unique sounds. The other thing we have, of course, as I mentioned, the application of practicing. 
and everybody needs to practice. And this TD15KV is loaded with a lot of great practice features. Of course, one of the first ones that we have in here, let me go back, we obviously have a metronome. And it's great because the metronome goes well beyond four, so you can play to some complex pieces of music because it will do some great odd time signatures. So the metronome is fun to have. The other thing, too, that we've got is called coach mode. Now, this is really unique to Roland. It's the rhythm coach. And, the, and in the coach mode, we've got a series of exercises that help you get better faster. They challenge your drumming skills. So you actually learn how to do certain exercises and play certain things, and it's helping you do this. So it's, it, actually what you're doing is you're getting better faster. And isn't that what we all want to do? That's why you practice, is to get better. So if you can get better faster with this, why wouldn't you do this? I'll show you one of the exercises. It's called time check. I'm going to go to my coach mode. You can see time check in the display. The rhythm coach in that time check mode is actually going to look at the timing of my kick and my snare and tell me if I'm on the beat, I'm ahead of the beat, or behind the beat. Because for the most part, you, people do practice with metronomes, but, is it, but it doesn't mean you're necessarily playing in time. It's like standing in front of an you know, expensive sports car. Just because you're standing next to it doesn't mean you own it. So in this case, what we want to be able to do is check our timing and see how we're doing. Let's take a look at the display. and it actually gave me a score. Now, I can take the score off if I want to, but it's really good to be able to play, and I can play for as long as I want to, and it'll give me a score. But you can see in this case, and obviously I did it for example purposes, played out of time a little bit. Did you listen to that? Did you hear that? I actually played out of time a little bit, simply so you could actually see that, that it actually is, it is gauging my kick and my snare, the timing, and where I'm at against the metronome and that downbeat. So I can visually see if I'm playing faster or slower. That's a great tip to be able to have, a great tool, practice tool to be able to have in this module. The other thing that we've got going here um, is called quick record and quick play. Now, it's really important to be able to listen to yourself back and, and uh, listen to your playing and analyze it and study it. And it's very, obviously, it's very difficult to do that. If you're already playing the drums, it's hard to analyze what you're playing and get a perspective of how you're playing while you're playing it. So quick record, quick play is perfect for this application. And not only that, the buttons are right on the front panel. So it's, it's very easy to do. So for example, if I have certain groove I'm playing, or let's say I'm practicing and I find some fill or lick or something like that that's really cool, I can record it and save it and remember it. So let's take a listen. So I'm in record mode, and all I have to do is start to play. And I just hit the play button, and it plays back. Now, the great thing about Quick Record Quick Play is those ideas that I have, or those patterns that I put in there, I can actually save off to a USB stick, an optional USB memory stick. The last five that you do actually saves it off, and it'll save as standard MIDI files. You can actually keep those, which is really neat to be able to do that. Now, of course, to finish things off, to practice, once you've developed your sense of timing, you've played with the metronome, you've played with the rhythm coach, you know, you've recorded yourself, listened to it, you've got backing songs to play along with. And there's a lot of great backing songs in here to play. Um, and they're a lot of fun. You, all you have to do is start to play. One of the things that, that we have in here, too, in regards to the backing songs, is some of them do have drum parts. So you can actually listen to the, what the drum part is already and kind of copy that. For example, like this one. And the only thing I need to do is just mute the drum part, and I can play along with it.
you get the idea. They're fun to play along with, and there's a lot of different styles. For example, let's say you want to do something different, a different style. For example, let's say you just want to play, for example, just a pop song, and I can do that too. I'm just going to go up here. I just select any one of those songs and hit play. There's styles like that. There's even styles, for example, I can go up to, I can go to playing a funk song if I want to. You get the idea. Of course, the, what's more fun is being able to select the drum set for the style. I'm not doing that here, but you could easily do that. Select the kit that you like, select the style, and away you go. Here's a couple more songs for you, too, to listen to. There's that kind of style there. If you want to do something fun, too, if you're feeling more aggressive, you have one of those crazy days and things like that, you know, you can get your aggressions out and play some angry music, too. You get the idea. And of course, you can do some fun stuff too. If you want to play some Texas rock, it's in there as well. Again, it's all in there. There's a lot of great songs to be able to have in there. Um, Here's what's great, though, too, uh, that we've got, if you want to play with more music, we've got that solution for you as well. We've got a lot of different options for you to achieve that. One of which is the module, the TD module itself, the TD15 has, like all Roland uh, sound modules, they have a mix input. What does that mean? That means you can take your iPod or your iPhone or wherever you've got any songs, a CD player, you can plug it into the mix input. And what will happen is that signal will merge into the module, so you hear that outside audio source and the drums at the same time. So you can play along with any song you want to. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can use the USB on the back, because what ends up happening is you can download V-Drums Friend Jam and plug into your computer, and V-Drums Friend Jam is a free download. It's free. Just go to Roland.com and download it. It's awesome. It's for a Mac or a PC, and what you can do, it's loaded full of great songs. Now, here's the fun part. You play along with the songs because they're minus drum tracks, and it gives you a score at the end of the song. It tells you how you did in some, a variety of different categories for playing drums. Here's the great thing about it. It gives you a score. And you can post your score on Twitter, and you can compete with people that are on V-Drums Friend Jam, which are, there's thousands of them all over the world. So you can compete with a guy in Germany or anywhere you want to, all over the world. And so you can, you can you know, you, there's the medals that are given and you can get different, uh, different awards and different levels. It's really a lot of fun. It's a social networking tool for drummers and it's great to play along with. Again, it's a free download, V-Drums Friend Jam. Not only that, but if you're an iPhone guy, we have a V-Drums Friend Jam iPhone app for you as well. Now here's how this works. With the wireless uh, USB adapter, plug it into your TD15, TD11, or TD30, and you'll stream the audio from your iPhone into the TD15 and, and blends the sounds together, and so you can play along, and you don't, you don't need your computer. You can just do V-Drums Friend Jam using your iPhone. It's awesome. It's really a great application. Not only that, but the fact that uh, you've got computer connectivity, as I mentioned, and we've got that right in the back. USB, USB audio, USB memory, and USB MIDI. So it's all right there, so you can connect to your computer. It not only allows you to do things like connect, connect to your computer if you want to do V-Drums Friend Jam, but you can also increase your fun and your learning with the new DT1 Drum Tutor software program. This is really special. Again, it's really great to advance your learning and, and just have a lot of fun with. It, one of the things that it has on the screen is when you play along with all the songs that are included in there, it'll actually show you the notes that you played right and the notes that you played wrong. You can see in the display here the blue circles around the notes that were played correctly and the red X's that weren't played correctly, whether it's not in time or it was actually the wrong instrument. Now, you might think, oh, that looks kind of complicated. I don't know how to read music that well. Well, there's another mode in Drum Tutor that goes to game mode. And it's a very familiar gaming interface with the falling chips, and you play along with that. And you play along with the song. It tells you which instrument to play when. 
And all of a sudden, you switch screens, and next thing you know, you're reading music notation. It's a great program. It even includes drum, snare drum exercises to just build up your snare drum technique as well. It's a great program. If you know how to, don't know how to play drums, it'll teach you how. If you know how to play drums, it'll get you better. And especially for reading music, it's awesome. It's really a terrific software program. Well, as I mentioned, USB connectivity on the TD-15, but there's actually more connections as well. But it also has, has MIDI out. It also has the stereo outputs that we're actually using for this recording here. Uh, not only that, but it also has two dual trigger inputs so I can expand the TD-15 KV drum set. If I want to add maybe a fourth tom, or maybe I want to add a second crash cymbal. The other thing that those inputs will allow me to do is I can use those to control the module as well. Let's say I want to use a pad to start and stop a song or advance to the next drum kit. So not only is it great to add more pads and to add more sounds, but you can also add controlling functions for the module. The other thing it has, of course, is the headphone output. But what's really important about that headphone output is that if I was going to play along with the click, I can send the click just out the headphones, and it will not go out the stereo outputs. So I can just monitor the click discreetly. So I've got my click. Now remember, I also have the illumination dial that also pulses the tempo too, so I can actually also visually see the tempo. Really great stuff. Now as you can see in here, the TD-15 is packed full of great features professional features and for a wide variety of applications. And it sounds great simply because it has the newly developed supernatural sound engine inside. Combine that with the V-Drum components, and what we have is a complete and natural drumming experience. But here's the thing. You have to go out and play one for yourself. And that's the thing. You might think that elect all electronic drums kind of sound the same, or you might be looking at this, uh, this uh, video and thinking, boy, you know, aren't all electronic drums supposed to sound like that? Well, they should, but unfortunately they don't. And it's the V drums series drum sets with the supernatural sound engine that actually give you that expression in that dynamic range. So make sure you sit down and play the drum set. You can have specifications all day long, but I'll tell you what, what it really boils down to is playing it and hearing it and feeling it. Because when you sit down at this kit, your attitude and the way you approach the drum set is directly reflected, reflected back at you. So that's what you need to do. Go out, play a V drum set for yourself, especially the TD-15KV. It's an awesome drum set. Play it for yourself so you can get the V drums advantage.